As long as you're good friends, hope you're fine. I'm sure that the video tutorial which I shared with you earlier was helpful for you. So today the chapter which we are going to discuss is the blood relationship, right? So usually when we interact with the aspirants, right, they say like this chapter is very difficult and they are going to skip it. However, there's nothing like that. This is only a myth, right? So the only thing what you need to understand in this very chapter is you need to understand the basic complexity of this very chapter. This is the most easiest chapter from the reasoning. The only thing what you need to do is you need to understand the basics of this very chapter. I'm sure and confident if you'll be able to understand the basic complexity of this very chapter, you will be easily able to solve any type of question from the blood relationships that's i'm confident about okay so when we talk about the blood relationship the few concepts which you need to understand from this very chapter are about the gender about few more things which i'll be discussing one by one the very first thing what you need to keep in mind while learning about this very chapter is that when we talk about any question the very first focus from your side should be on three important things number one is the subject right or I can say the speaker okay number second is the object okay so these two things subject and object this is something very important and the third thing what I need to know is about the gender okay and also when we talk about the gender we also need to know one more thing that is about the language being used so when we talk about few of the questions right when it's mentioned his okay there may be his so you came to know that it's male when it's her it means it's a female right same way when we talk about the subject speaker or the object about whom we are talking that is something the basic understanding of this very chapter so how to learn about this so this is let's move to the second phase okay so when we talk about this very chapter of the relationships the very first thing and the basic rules of this chapter which you need to learn is when we talk about a family there are males and there are females okay so when we talk about males of our family, it may be grandfather, it may be a grandmother, okay, it may be a mother, uh, it may be a father, it may be a mother, okay, it may be a, uh, it may be a uh, husband, it may be a wife, it may be a sister, it may be a brother. It may be a son, it may be a daughter, okay, it may be a daughter-in-law, it may be a son-in-law, it may be a grandson, it may be a granddaughter, it may be a grand, great-grandson, it may be a great-granddaughter, okay, so when we talk about these males or females there can be also some relationships between the males and the females now we need to learn how to draw the relationship between the males and the females that's something basic understanding of the question and that is the most impor important part of our chapter okay so when we talk about the different types of relationship in our family there can be husband and wife relationship i mean to say the married relationship there can be father and a son relationship, there can be a father and a daughter relationship, there can be a brother and a brother relationship, there can be a sister and a sister relationship. The very important thing, what I was talking about, the object and the subject. Okay, so when we talk about males, okay, we will be representing, this is the first law, first rule for understanding this very chapter. The type of the technique which I'll be showing you, you will find this nowhere in the books, right? This is what I have developed, right? This is my concept, what I have developed. Okay, when we talk about the males, so we will represent them in boxes, right? When we talk about the females, we will show females in an old shape or in a circular right so when we talk about the males and females now there can be different types of relationship between males and the females females and the females males and the males let me draw some 
few relationship when we talk about a male and a female both of them are married if i have to draw a married relationship i'll draw it with like a cross this cross shows the married relationship so when a male and a female is married so i can easily say this is husband and this one is wife you getting my point so there is one more male and there is one more male if i need to show the sibling relationship brothers and the brother sisters and sisters brothers and sister i'll simply draw a line connecting them straight line connecting them okay so i can say these are brothers you're getting my point so these are brothers so same way if there's a female and one more female i'm drawing a connecting line it means these are sisters to each other they are sisters to each other you getting my point so there can be some different types of the relationship as well when we talk about a, a male and now i have to draw his son how to draw his son and how to draw his father i'll be showing this in a uh, chart that is the family chart you all need to know about the family chart i personally suggest you you all make a family chart of your own family so this is actually how we made it the only thing what you need to remember in this way family chart the basic principles the married relationship the brother siblings relationship and there is one more relationship when we talk about our youngsters means my son right my daughter i show this downwards when i need to show these are my next generations okay young youngsters so i can call them as the youngsters when we talk about our elders means my parents my my, my mother my father my uncle my father's brother so i'll show them in my above line line about to me so i'll just try to show you the family chart and i personally suggest you all to make a family chart of your own and please share it with me okay so don't be under this very impression that it is very difficult it's something very easy very easy to understand you need not to worry about this very chapter i'm sure you'll be easily able to solve all the questions from the blood relationship test okay so when i talk about my family i just uh, you please to zoom on this way point so i can draw the full family chart i abdul rauf khan so i'll draw my family chart let me say okay my family chart abdul rauf khan is a male i'll show it in a box okay it's abdul rauf khan okay so when i talk about my family i'll draw my family like this okay the very first thing i i, I showed you earlier the married relationship the siblings relationship okay now i need to show you something more when i talk about my son i'll move towards down downside when i talk about my parents i'll move towards upside it's me here this one this one box so this is a sibling it means he is my brother my brother and my brother got married with this way lady she is my sister in law she is my sister in law you getting my point all right so here comes the point of uh, my parents now when i need to draw my parents i'll show them about my line so me my brother my sister in law my brother in law my wife will be in one line and above us will be our parent line means father uncle aunt uh, mother like that okay so my father will be like this it's my father so i draw the line above me that is my father right my father then my father's father he will be my grandfather you get my point all right my father my grandfather got married with this way lady in 1857 so she is my grandmother my grandfather got married with this way lady in 1837 so she is my grandmother and they got a son in 1901 so he is my father and my father got married in 1947 with this way lady she is my mother 
my mother and my father. So they both got married and they had a son in 1950. So Abdul Rauf Khan and the second one who is my brother. Okay, this my brother got married with this way lady. She is my sister-in-law. Okay, my father had one brother. So he is my uncle. My father has one more sister or I can say my uncle has one sister. When I say my father has one sister, it means my uncle also has one sister. So she is my aunt. You're getting my point? My uncle has one son. I can represent that like this. Okay. So I got married with this very lady. So she is my wife. We got married in 1975. Okay. So we, got, we had a son in 1980s. So we got married uh, in 1975 and we got married. We had this very son. Okay. I presented this in a box. So he is my son. My son got married in 1980 with this very lady. Okay, she is my daughter-in-law. Okay, so when I talk about my son, my son had one more brother. Or I can say he's my son as well. So my son has a brother. He's also my son. Okay, my son, ha my son got uh, one more son. Okay, so he is my grandson. Okay, they got married in 1980 or like that. So they had a son. My grandson got married last week with this way lady. So she is my granddaughter-in-law. So you got the point? Granddaughter-in-law. My grandson has a sister. It's like this. So I can say granddaughter. So the basic thing what you need to understand is when you are here, you have to consider yourself at the center and your brother, your sister, your wife, your husband should all come in one line. Above your line should be your parental line, your uncle line, your aunt's line, your masi, your pufi, your mamu, everyone will come in this way line. Then your son, your nephew, your niece, for example, if I show my, my niece, she is here, I can represent it like this my brother's daughter so she is my niece you're getting my point okay she is my niece so this is the way how we try to solve the blood relationship test this is the family chart if you'll be able to understand this way chart i'm sure and i'm saying with 110 percent confidence you will be able to solve any damn question from the blood relationship i'll try to just recap once again it's me are here, right? I kept myself in the box because it's male, the speaker is male. If you are a female, then you need to keep yourself in the circle one. Okay, if you are a male and then you need to keep yourself in the box rectangular figure. Then I present myself like this. It's me are here. Okay, I'll try to keep this in uh, me. I'll present it like this, me. The one who is drawing it then only you will, you will be able to understand the relationships with me. So it's me who is drawing it. Okay, so it's my brother in the same line. It's my wife. It's my brother's married one. So she's my sister-in-law. Okay, she's my wife. My brother recently got a, a, a daughter. So she is my niece. My father, my father line will be about me. This line will be my, par my parents' line, my uncles, my aunts, will all will be about my line. So my father got married with this way lady, so she is my mother. Okay, my father had a brother, so he is my uncle. My uncle or my father had a sister, so she is my aunt. If I need to represent my aunt's son or aunt's daughter, I'll show it like this. My aunt's son, so he is my cousin. I represent him in my line. So you can see the cousin isn't coming in this way line. So my father's father is my grandfather. My father's wife, she is my grandmother. My father's brother, so he is my grand uncle. So you can draw yourself how much you need. You can draw it yourself. For example, I'll say early in the morning, my grandson had a son. So I'll draw one more line toward downsides and I'll say that my grandson has a son early in the morning so he's my great grandson it depends on you how you will draft it i'm sure that this way concept is uh, now clear with you so i'll be now trying to take 
uh, small, small uh, basics questions from the blood relationships. Okay, so the question, the basic question which we are right now going to solve and learn is like this. The words of the question are like this. I told you earlier that you need to keep into mind three very important things. Subject, object, the gender of the speaker, that's something very important, language being used. So in this question, we have a question pointing to a man, right? There's a person pointing towards a man, right? In a photograph, a man said, speaker is a male, right? A man said to a woman, means a conversation is going between a man and a woman. For example, I'll draw it like this. He is a man. Okay, and there is a woman, right? Okay, so a conversation is going between them, but this way person is speaking. A man said, now this way person is speaking, and he's pointing towards a person, a man. This way person, he's pointing towards a person like this. Here is a man, right? For, there is a conversation going on between them. Pointing towards a man in the photograph, a man said to a woman, so about this way person. Okay, then what are the words being used? His mother. Iski jo maah hai. Iski maah hum kaise banayenge? Iski jo maah hai. Right, I said. His mother is the. Ab ye wali jo lady hai. Baat iske baare mein chal rahi hai. The object is this. His mother is the. Iski maah jo hai is the only daughter of your father. Ye jo lady hai, ye is the only daughter of your father. Ye jo lady hai, ye aapke papa ki ikloti beti hai. Aapke papa ki. Aapke papa ki ikloti beti. Iska papa. Jab mein kisi ladki se keh raho hun, aapke papa ki ikloti beti. Right. Jab mein kisi ladki se ya kisi female se keh raho hun, aapke papa ki ikloti beti. To ho wahi hai. Right. When I am telling this way person, for example, mein inse keh raho hun, ye ladki hai yaan pe, आपके पापा की इकलौती बेटी तो यही है इसका मतलब ये जो यहाँ पे लेडी है ये यही है बिल्कुल राइट ओके फिर क्वेश्चन वाले ने फिर से आई ट्राइड टू रिपीट द वर्ड्स ऑफ द क्वेश्चन हिज मदर इज द ओनली डॉटर ऑफ योर फादर इसकी जो मम्मी है इससे बात हो रही है ना इसकी जो मम्मी है वो आपके पापा की इकलौती बेटी है इसका मतलब ये तो यही है सो इस इट मीन्स दिस वे दिस वे लेडी इज द सेम जिसके साथ ये बात कर रहे हैं ओके फिर इसने क्या कहा हाउ इज द विमेन रिलेटेड टू द मैन इन द फोटोग्राफ आप मुझे बताइए ये लेडी इस लड़के की क्या लगती है आई विल सिंपली से कि ये इस लड़के की माँ लगती है मॉम और मदर राइट सो दिस इज द वे हाउ वी सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस ये बेसिक क्वेश्चन है नाउ आई विल बी टेकिंग वन मोर क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस ओके नाउ वी हैव द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस So the words of the question are like this. Before coming to the question, I just want to say a few words with you. When we talk about my mother's mother, she is my grandmother. When I talk about my father's father, he is my grandfather. When I talk about my mother's brother, he is my uncle. When I talk about my father's brother, he is my uncle. When I talk about my mother's sister, she is my aunt. When I talk about my father's sister, she is again my aunt. When I talk about my brother's daughter, she is my niece. When I talk about my brother's uh, son, he is my nephew. When I talk about my sister's son, again he is my nephew. When I talk about my sister's daughter, she is my nephew. If she is my niece. Okay. Same way, when I talk about my son, he is my son. When I talk about my son's son, he is my grandson. When I talk about the son of my grandson, he is my great grandson. And when I talk about the father of my grandfather, he is my great grandfather. So this, this is something, the basic introduction. At the same time, I just want to tell you one very important thing. When I talk about, I had a brother and I have one sister. If I'll say about uh, my brother's mother, she is my mother, right? When I talk about my sister's mother, she is again my mother. And when I talk about the only daughter of my mother-in-law, my mother-in-law, it means uh, that way lady who has given her daughter in my married life, right? Okay, when I talk about only daughter of my mother-in-law, it means my wife, right? So this was the just basic introduction of before coming to this very question. So remember when I talk about only daughter of my mother-in-law, she is my wife. Exactly. Let's come to the question. The words of the question you can see on your screen as well. Introducing a girl. A girl is being introduced, right? A girl is being introduced, right? I'll just try to share it like this. A girl is being introduced. Vipin said, 
Now the speaker is a male. Okay, he is women, right? A girl is being introduced. Women said, her mother, iski jo mummy hai, kaise banayenge? Iski jo mummy hai, wo upper line mein banate, apne se upper line mein banate. Iski jo mummy, iski upper line wali na jayenge. Ye lady hai, iski jo mummy hai. Her mother is the only daughter of my mother-in-law. Iski jo mummy hai na, ye lady jo hai, iske baare mein baat chal rahi thi. Iske baare mein baat chal thi. Iski jo mummy hai, ye wali. Ab yahan pe ham pahunche. Now she is the right now the object. इसके बारे हम बात कर रहे हैं. Her mother. इसके बारे में हम यहाँ पे पहुँचे. Her यहाँ पे हम photograph तो ये था यार जिसके बाद बारे में हम introduce कर रहे थे. Introducing a girl. So हमने ये बनाया. Her mother. यहाँ पे पहुँच गए. Her mother is the. यहाँ पे. Is the only daughter of my mother-in-law. If I just reduce these words, only daughter of my mother-in-law. मेरी सास की जो है मेरी सास जो है उसकी इकलौती बेटी. So she is my wife. So, इसकी जो हमने मैं फिर से क्वेश्चन डाल जाऊंगा हर मदर हर मदर इज द ओनली डॉटर ये बेटी है किसकी बेटी है मेरे मदर इन लॉ की इकलौती बेटी है विपिन बोल रहा है मेरी मदर इन लॉ मेरी मदर इन लॉ कैसे बनाएंगे इस विपिन की मदर इन लॉ कैसे आएगी विपिन की जिस लेडी के साथ शादी हुई है उसकी मदर इन लॉ ये आ गई राइट मेरी मदर इन लॉ की ये इकलौती बेटी है I'll just again come to the question, right? Vipin, iske baare mein introduction chal raha hai. Her mother, iski jo maa hai, wo ikloti beti hai meri saas ki. She is the only daughter of my mother-in-law. Iska matlab iski jo mummy hai. Iski mummy ki hai ikloti beti hai. Okay. And iska matlab, jab isne Vipin ne kaha my mother-in-law, uski ikloti beti, iska matlab Vipin ki hai wife hai. Right? So now the question is saying, how is Vipin related to the girl? मुझे पता ही है, भाई ये जो girl है Vipin इसका क्या लगता? अगर Vipin की ये wife है, wife की ये जो lady है, ये क्या है? It means the correct answer is daughter. So here the answer will be daughter. This is one way. How may we we need not to solve this way every time? Uh, there are multiple things which can be used. Huh. For the practice, in the very initial start, if you are doing it this way, way, your basics will be quite very strong and you will be able to solve any question, be it from the analytical reason, be it from the blood relationships, any type of question you will be able to solve with this way technique. This technique will help you in solving the bigger large size questions in the analytical reason. That time this technique will really help you. Okay, so let me move towards a second way of solving this way question. Okay, that's called the squeezer ones, but I will not personally suggest you to do that all the time. Okay, that's for the basic introduction purpose and nothing more than that. I, every, I suggest every time to do it by diagrammatical figures. Introducing a girl, Vipin said, her mother is the only daughter of my mother-in-law. Only daughter of my mother-in-law. When I am word ko analyze this word, मेरे मदर इन लॉ की इकलौती बेटी मैं इस वर्ड के बदले ये कैंसिल करता हूं इसके बदले मैं एक ही वर्ड लिखता हूं आई यूज वाइफ जब मैंने इतना कहा मेरी सास की बेटी मेरी सास की इकलौती बेटी वो तो मेरी वाइफ ही हो गई ओके नाउ अगेन आई यूज द वर्ड इंट्रोड्यूसिंग अ गर्ल विपिन सेड हर मदर इज माय वाइफ इसकी जो बेटी है वो मेरी भी इसकी जो बेटी है हर मदर इज द वाइफ उसकी जो माँ है इस इस बच्ची की जो माँ है वो मेरी बीवी है इसका मतलब वो बच्ची क्या लगती है मेरी वो मेरी संकी डॉटर ही है यू गेटिंग माय पॉइंट सो दिस इज़ आल्सो वन वे हाउ वी सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस ओके द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच वी आर नाउ गोइंग टू सॉल्व इट्स अगेन वेरी इजी � so inshallah in the next way there I'll be showing some more different types of the question. Okay, but if you'll be able to solve these type of question, you will be easily able to do the second of the questions as well. Okay, the words of the question are like this: pointing to a man in the park. Pointing to a man. Okay, there is a person pointing to a man in the park. No man said. No man is here. No man is here. No man is pointing towards that very person. No man is pointing towards that person. Noman said, his son, 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 is my son's uncle, his son, his son, his son, is my son's uncle, his son's uncle, his son's uncle, my 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 son's uncle, 
एंड अगेन यूज वर्ड्स हिज सन इज माय सन अंकल ये जो लड़का है इसका वो मेरे बेटे का अंकल है मेरा बेटा नुमान बोल रहा मेरे बेटे का अंकल बेटे का अंकल यहां आ गया ना गेटिंग माई वर्ड्स इसका मतलब ये बंदा जो है ये ये राइट अगेन आई डू दिस नुमान से पॉइंट टू वर्ड दिस पर्सन हिज सन इसका जो बेटा है अब यहां पे हम पहुंच गए इसका जो बेटा है वो मेरा नुमान कह रहा इसका जो बेटा है वो मेरे बेटे का अंकल है मेरे बेटे का अंकल कौन होगा माय सन अंकल विल बी माय ब्रदर मेरा बेटा उसका अंकल मीन्स मेरा बेटा उनके पापा उनके भाई तो उन्होंने कहा नुमान ने कहा ये लड़का जो है ये लड़का जो है मेरे बेटे का अंकल है मेरा नुमान कह रहा मेरा बेटा और उनका अंकल कैसे होगा नुमान के पापा नुमान के भाई सो इट मीन दिस वे पर्सन एंड दिस वे पर्सन इज सेम अब ये बंदे हैं और उनके पापा ये वाले ओके तो मुझे आप बताइए नुमान के ये क्या लगेंगे हाउ इज द मैन रिलेटेड टू नुमान नुमान का ये क्या लगता है मेरे भाई साहब भाई साहब के पापा ही इज माई Regarding the question, so this is the way how we solve it. Okay, if you want to squeeze this way question, the way I showed you earlier is when. If you want to squeeze this question, I want to squeeze this word. His son is my son's uncle. 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 So what is the word which I will be using? वो क्या लगेंगे? इनके बेटे जो है वो मेरे बेटे के uncle हैं. इसका मतलब he is my father. So मैं यही कहूँगा ना मेरे father के बेटे जो है my fathers जो उनके बेटे हैं वो मेरे बेटे के uncle हैं. Right? This is how we can solve these types of questions. Hope you got understanding of the basics of blood relationships. I'll be inshallah coming up with one more lecture part B of the blood relationships where I'll be showing you the different types of the question and different types of relationship. Like uh, आपके बहुत सारे questions हैं जैसे A is the son of B. So आप उसको ऐसे बना सकते हैं A is the son of B, right? A is the son of B. Then you can say A is the brother of B. अभी देखिए जब मैंने कहा A is the son of B मैंने यहाँ पे लिखा A is the son of B. फिर मैं कहूँगा A is the brother of B. A is the brother of B. Then we'll be doing it like this. A is the brother of D. Then question will ask you. Tell me what is D A? So that type of question, inshallah, I'll be sharing in the next clip, inshallah, very soon. So with these words, I want to thank you all, and I believe that you'll be sharing these very video small tutorials with all your friends and others. Hope this will be, inshallah, a learning platform for you. With these words, I want to thank you all. Jazakallah khair. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.